Hosea 8 warns us about what happens when we turn away from God. It's a chapter that really makes it clear. Forgetting our commitment to God and going our own way can lead to serious trouble. The chapter starts in verse 1 with a strong warning. It says, Sound the alarm. The enemy swoops down like an eagle on the people of the Lord. For they have broken my covenant and rebelled against my law. This shows us that ignoring God's commands and breaking our promise to him is like inviting disaster into our lives. Hosea goes on in verse 11 and points out a big mistake that Israel is making. It says, Israel has built many altars for sinning. They have become altars for sinning. The very places that they set up for worship have become places of sin. It's a warning for us that when we try to handle things on our own, instead of following God's direction, even our attempts to do good can go wrong. This idea is summed up powerfully when Hosea says in verse 7, they have planted the wind and will harvest the whirlwind, meaning that neglecting God's ways leads to chaos and trouble. Or another way of saying it that we're all a little bit more familiar with is you reap what you sow. Paul talks about this in Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. It says, Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. This New Testament passage reinforces Hosea's message, showing that our actions have real results. Hosea 8 encourages us to think about our own choices. Are we making decisions that follow God's commands or are we setting up our own altars that lead us away from him? Let's use this message to check our heart and our actions. Are we planting seeds that will lead to life and peace or trouble and destruction?